Hello and welcome back. It is Kristen from Life of Crafting and I am highlighting all of the cards that I was able to complete during my week, weekend away in Ocean City, New Jersey. As I've explained before, it's an annual thing I do with my friend Vicki and I go down. It's supposed to be just for a weekend, but I book the room for additional time and I just spend a, the whole week and a half just doing nothing but cards. And having just redid my craft studio and I'm in a new area now, I was really going through all of my stuff, throwing out, donating, what have you. And these cards have so many things that I was able to use and just blow out. I was so, so happy. I chose to use this One Sheet Wonder template from JessCrafts.com. It's a very good sketch in the fact that it gives you no scraps after you cut it down. If you're looking, this is One Sheet Wonder template number one for the 6x6 series. So if you go to her site, you can get this as well there. So this particular card used up so many things. For one, when I moved, I realized that I had purchased so many of these craft card and envelope packs when Hobby Lobby did their first downsizing of the paper uh, section. And I must have picked up easily just to the A2 size card bases, probably a good eight or 10, even 12 packs of them. You would get like 12 envelopes with 12 card bases. And I realized as I was moving everything from the basement out to the, to, I'm in the, the warehouse now. I have a, a studio that's a, an office that I've refitted for this. Um, when I had to move all that stuff, I was like, my Lord, I have been with this stuff for probably a year and a half to two years now. So I'm thinking, okay, fine, use it up. The other thing I realized when I started moving stuff was I had been buying different paper off of Facebook Marketplace and a lot of the packs weren't necessarily full packs or they came to me where people gave me extras. So the, the thing that the impetus that started all this was I have some of this paper that was left that was scraps that someone had sent me from the Stamping Up Sweetest Christmas. And when I saw these papers, there was only like maybe three sheets in there. And I was like, let me use them up. This was a good sketch because I knew I could get quite a few cards and they were full sheets at the time. Well, when I started pulling these papers in and starting to get things together, um, I was looking to cut this up and just like use the backs of the paper but my sheets weren't always full sheets. So then it led me to looking into my papers to see how many other papers I could use with the same sketch and use up. And I wound up finding I had like a sheet or two of some Echo Park that was not being, you know, utilized. It was just sitting there. This was a paper, this straight paper was actually in a pack. When I go for that weekend away, there's a, a swap table there where you can just put freebie stuff out. I had this in that pile to take down there to give away. And I was like, oh, whoa, whoa wait a minute because as I was going through, I've also got a pile here of stuff that are all these little embellishments that have been left over from other projects that I made that I just couldn't bring myself to throw out. And this house was one from the Stamping Up Candy Cane Lane uh, DSP from several years ago. And I had made a card with my friend Vicki. And what it was was these were all printed like in a strip and there was probably like four rows of them. And we punched out one that would have been in between all of these. So I couldn't bring myself to throw the, the paper out because in between every punch that we had made was one of these houses. And I thought, you know what? I could use them for something. Never did. They sat in my studio for several years. And I finally, in this move, said, you know what? All of that stuff has to go somewhere. And I tried to make a card with something to be blown out. Every card that I made had some form of something that just needed to go. This particular one used so many. It starts from the card base down to this DS, the, the printed paper, to these ha uh, houses went on here. The other thing I pulled in here was this washi tape. This came from the Candy Cane Lane pack of paper. My friend Vicky loved her dearly, but when she's done with something, she's done with it. And it's just like here. And I'm like, well, gee, thanks. Like I'm trying to use up my own stuff too. Um, 
So she gave me a brand new pack of this washi tape after we made the cards that were the ones that originated the, you know, where these scraps came from. And I'm like, okay, this has got to go. The other thing I had in there were these little peppermints that came from the Stamping Up Gingerbread and Peppermint series that was from several years ago. I had several of these peppermints that, that somehow got into my stash. So I was like, fine, let me pull that in here too. So this wasn't necessarily like a card that was going to blow me away, but you know what? I use these in my business. They are a giveaway when a customer purchases something from me. I put it in the packet for them as a thank you. And I'm sure they're going to be, they're going to be like loving it where I'm looking at it like, eh, it's a good, you know, it's okay. Um, but no, I think it came out really, I think it really came out nice. And the fact that I could use so many things and I, it's all nice stuff. It's all things that, you know, like I said, we're just sitting in my stash that somebody else can go enjoy now. And I mean, even here, like I, I didn't think at first that I was going to pull the green in, but then when I started bringing in these, um, these peppermints, I'm like, hey, wait a minute, because this green isn't even a Stampin' Up! color or Stampin' Up! paper. This was another, I don't even know where, like I said, I was pulling in when I started doing this, all different scraps from different places to blow it out. I wound up with 48 of these cards. Uh, to finish off what I used in this, I pulled in this old chock full of cheer from Stampin' Up! to give me the Merry Christmas because these were in my stash. I don't even know why. The white piece of paper was some leftover and I couldn't bring myself to throw it out. I'm sure you're all the same way where it's like, oh my God, I can use that for something. And you know what? I did because it was like, it's got to go. So they were already pre-cut in this size. The sketch calls for you to cut them as a one inch by three inch. Again, I didn't even bother because um, I had the white so I left this strip as itself as a one inch by three inch because these strips are all one by five. So I think the only thing I wound up having to do is I probably threw out a one by one inch little square from whatever. Um, she's got layers behind all of these. I wanted this to be a quick card. I just chose to do one big panel. If I really was going to do this, um, again, I think I would prefer to do the layers behind the sentiment and the layers behind each one of these um, strips. I think that's what I'm really, I'm, I'm a person that likes lots of layers. I think that's probably what I, I felt like was missing. And I didn't want to do anything more having this um, washi tape on here. And the other thing is there's a lot of different colors of reds going on here. I don't know if you're catching that, but I feel like they just, you know, there was so much going on. It's fine. And then the inside is the sentiment I brought in from the Candy Cane Lane stamping up and used some uh, red ink that I had here. And that is a wrap up on this card. Again, I got 48 of these, blew out four packs of these um, packs from Hobby Lobby and got rid of all of my, I also had, and I didn't bring them in here. I had other things. Like I had some little gingerbread people I had made. I think I had two or three of them. I just blew out and there was some Tim Holtz, like gingerbread cookies I had made, blew them out. So this was a great forgiving design to blow out a lot of those little things that I had sitting around as like little types of ephemera pieces. So I'm hoping you are enjoying this series. I have lots more to come. I probably have at least 12. I mean, I, I took so much down there and I'm so excited to say that I finished almost everything that was down there. I'm gonna have um, one more night in the studio to finish up probably about another hour or so and I will have everything done that I took. So bye for now. Hope you're getting some inspiration. Thumbs ups would be appreciated and I really appreciate some subscription uh, if you subscribed if you are getting inspiration out of this. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.